2024 has been a year of incredible mods that have revolutionized your mod list. In particular, the Dismembering Framework has taken Skyrim's combat to the next level by adding real-time dismemberment and sound effects. This amazing mod allows you to dismember not only humans, but also creatures and even animals. The experience of charging at enemies with a powerful sprint and decapitating them has once again made me realize the incredible advancements of the Skyrim modding community and it works smoothly in first-person view. When used together with the modern first-person animation overhaul, it provides an even more immersive experience. Moreover, the modern first-person animation overhaul has elevated first-person combat animations to modern standards. Each weapon's animation has been enhanced in quality and optimized, allowing you to experience newly remade first-person combat. In addition, 2024 has been a year of revolutionary improvements in the visuals of creatures. Dragon's SE brings a new level of detail and realism to the dragons in Skyrim. Skeleton's SE overhauls the skeleton models, providing them with more realistic textures and more detailed bone textures, enhancing the eerie atmosphere of Skyrim's dungeons. Troll's SE improves the textures and models of trolls, making them more intimidating and lifelike. Simply Better Wolves enhances the appearance of wolves, giving them more detailed fur textures. And Draugr's new models and texture provides new models and textures for Draugr's, making these undead creatures even more terrifying and immersive. However, in 2024, the mod that truly embellishes these highly detailed creatures is the Dragonborn's bestiary. Now, you can collect information about these creatures, learn their strengths and weaknesses through a new custom menu, and understand them better to strategize more effectively. And in 2024, not only did we see improvements in creature visuals, but also the introduction of dialogue back. history. This mod allows players to keep track of all dialogues, enabling them to I revisit past conversations with NPCs while resting in inns or homes. By reviewing these dialogues through the history menu, players can better understand the meaning of their interactions and gain a deeper comprehension of story quests. In 2024, creator Jira Pomba has produced numerous mods, significantly enhancing the first-person experience. Notably, mods like first-person interactions and eating animations and sounds first-person patch have added a plethora of interaction features, such as opening doors, picking up items, and eating or drinking, all in first-person view. This has made gameplay even more immersive. Additionally, dynamic crafting animations allows characters to display the weapons and armor they are working on while using grindstones, workbenches, or arcane enchanters, along with new animations. This has further enhanced the vanilla features, making gameplay richer and more immersive, showcasing the incredible advancements of the modding community in 2024. And among the animation mods, EVG Slope Animations has significantly expanded Skyrim's movement in 2024. This mod introduces new dedicated animations for traversing slopes like stairs and hills, using appropriate steps for climbing up or down. Both NPCs and players now use these new animations when navigating slopes, creating a more realistic movement experience in Skyrim. Additionally, with malignous animations conditions, characters will show fatigue when low on stamina, exhibit injured motions when low on health, and react naturally to weather conditions. These features represent one of the remarkable advancements in Skyrim modding in 2024. 2024 has been a year rich with mods that have transformed various cities in Skyrim. Notably, mods focused on enhancing the uniqueness and immersion of cities have stood out. For instance, Whiterun has walls redone completely redesigned Whiterun's walls, offering a more realistic and immersive experience. The Riverwood mod revitalized Riverwood, enhancing the details of this small village. Lastly, Skyfall's fortified Morthal transformed Morthal into a practical and fortified stronghold, upgrading the cities of Skyrim even further. In 2024, Kitty Tail's VFX effect mods have garnered significant attention. Various magical effects such as frost, fire, lightning, healing, and Dragon Breath have been enhanced by their mods. Even the recent mod that improves torch effects continues to be one of the most popular among many players. These improvements have not only made the game visually stunning, but also added a layer of realism and immersion that players have come to love, making them an essential choice for those looking to enhance Skyrim's visual effects. 
Additionally, this year has also highlighted Kitty Tail's magic mods. With Dark Hierophant Magic, players can add shadow light spells with stunning white light visuals. Mods like Obscure Magic and Holy Templar Magic have allowed players to use enchanting spells with fantastic effects. However, the most impressive has been the Wizarding Traversal Magic, which offers dynamic and spectacular teleportation effects, such as black cloud effects and various other visuals, opening up new levels of magical experiences in 2024. In 2024, several amazing movesets were released, making Skyrim even more stylish and dynamic. Notably, the recently released Sura Blade moveset has significantly upgraded the appeal of katanas with its swift, fluid, and precise movements. The swift and lively moveset, accompanied by red sword trails, has become an incredible aspect of experiencing the charm of Skyrim modding. Moreover, the Asian animation, which combines the use of heavy spears and katanas, has amazed players by effectively capturing the feel of wielding powerful and weighty weapons. Additionally, the Vampire Scythe moveset has effectively combined red effects, magic, and fire to enhance the vampire-themed gameplay. This mod has captivated many players who dream of a vampire-themed experience, making it a standout addition to Skyrim's modding community in 2024. And the stylish movesets by creator Sarah, who uses various katanas, have been truly impressive. Additionally, Smooths for Honor in Skyrim moveset has reached new heights of perfection this year. The development of the one-handed axe and one-handed mace movesets has been particularly impressive, capturing a realistic feel while maintaining Smooth's unique style. The occasional slow motion effects and orange visuals have balanced the moveset well, enhancing Skyrim's combat experience even further. Moreover, this year has not been limited to humanoid movesets. Mods like Wolves' combat behavior have improved the combat behavior of Wolves and Deathhounds, making them more aggressive in their attacks and capable of dodging. And with the Dwarven Sphere combat animation, new attack animations for the Dwarven Sphere have been introduced, allowing players to experience a fresh and unique combat style for the Dwarven Sphere. Additionally, with the dragon combat animations, new dragon attack animations have been introduced, overhauling the vanilla dragon attacks. This has made the combat experience with dragons more immersive and challenging. Lastly, 2024 has seen the release of many fantastic outfits. Notably, Carnarvon Rat offers a casual yet unique outfit that highlights the character's individuality, with the SMP-supported tail being particularly impressive. Additionally, the Vindicator armor stands out as one of the most memorable armor mods, showcasing the distinctive style of heavy warriors while also accentuating the body line. Knight Elaine is an outfit that beautifully combines a one-piece design with armor, evoking the image of a fantastical female elf. On the other hand, the Lavatera armor blends cloth and chainmail, reminiscent of a mysterious zealot or a Dunmer traveling through the desert. The Common Clothing expansion mod has improved and expanded Skyrim's clothing, adding a fresh touch to the game's attire while maintaining lore friendliness. And we can't forget the Magecore outfit for mages, which beautifully enhances the female body line and includes SMP effects. This outfit has significantly improved the mage attire in Skyrim, and when paired with accessories from Nern Necessities, it allows for an even more immersive adventure. And the recently introduced Spriggan armor by Fuse has also been quite impressive. Its unique design has significantly enhanced the outfit, making it stand out even more. In conclusion, this wraps up our showcase of the fantastic mods that adorned Skyrim in 2024. Although not all of the amazing mods could be featured in my video, there are still many incredible ones out there. I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to the creators who worked tirelessly to produce these mods. Additionally, I am deeply grateful to my loyal viewers and supporters who have consistently backed my channel and watched my videos. Your love and support have been the driving force behind the growth of this channel throughout the year. I will continue to strive to create videos that repay your kindness in 2025. Wishing you all happiness, and I look forward to bringing you even more enriching content in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in next video.